Hey guys, hey, 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 it is the Jackie Jackson. Woo, I'm so excited to talk to you guys today. It is Tax D Tuesday. All right, so on this Tax D Tuesday, it's coronavirus season, okay? So you see I got them all do-ragged up, but I'm still in my money clothes though. <laughs> Ain't nothing changed. <laughs> so on this special edition of Tax D Tuesday, I'm out and about, I'm up early in my area. Um, there's a curfew, um, so you can't go out, you know, at certain times and stuff like that. So kind of like offset, you know, business, but you know, I don't go out late at night anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But um, I'm up early because I have a list of properties that I will be um, reviewing today. And I just wanna drive past them and go and see what the neighborhood looks like. So on this Tax Day Tuesday, what we're actually talking about, the topic of discussion is the three reasons why real estate investors who buy tax deeds, why we even buy them in the first place, right? So there's so many different ways that you can acquire properties. I get it. You know, there's wholesaling, there's, you know, sending out lists and mailers and all that cool stuff. There's a whole bunch of different ways for you to be successful in real estate. There's just not like any one way right so why did I choose tax deeds it's because a <laughs> these properties are available through the government right they're available in every state USA every county across the United States there are 3,141 counties in the United States that make up all of the United States so what that means is like there's like no shortage of inventory so if you're new to real estate investing and you've been trying the wholesale thing and you're like gosh I, you know I can't even get like a deal on the contract and stuff like that like you're finding it really challenging to be successful using that strategy guess what there's other strategies right so you know try to do something else <laughs> you may want to explore uh, what tax deed investing has to do with you and how you could be successful in it so the second reason um investors love it is because we truly can get properties at a discounted price like we really really can get properties at a discounted price and you may say well what kind of discounts can you get well truly you can get discounts as low as like 10 percent, 20 percent um of the market value i'm not talking about just 10 percent, a 20 percent off of the market value i'm talking about just a percentage of the market value so what does that mean so if a property is a hundred thousand dollars on the market and you know you could like zillow it or whatever you want to do get a zestimate and it's valued at um at a hundred grand you know the opening bid at that auction is just the delinquent taxes by itself, right? So if you are the successful bidder, you have like an opportunity to purchase that property for its opening bid, which is only the total amount needed to um, satisfy the delinquent real estate. That's it. The, the delinquent real estate taxes, that's it. If you have any competition, meaning like there's another investor that's bidding against you, so be it. I mean, you can't stop that. It's a premium bid process. But the point here is, even if you have some type of competition, normally you are already um, predetermined what your maximum bid is going to be, right? So you're not attending the auction so that you could pay retail. I mean, who does that? <laughs> right? So you're going to, you know, you're going to stop bidding once you realize that it's maximizing and going over like a certain value because your objective is to buy at a discount, right? You want to buy at, you know, 10% 10% of value, uh 20, 30, 40, 50%. Like even at 50% of a property's value is still a good deal. That's like mm, you depositing, you know, $50 and then your bank or your ATM is going to give you back $100. Like that's a big deal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that math adds up, okay? So it's 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 really a big deal, right? And then number three, the reason why I particularly like the strategy is because I don't really got to mail anybody anything. You know, you have, um, you know, some investors that are going around driving for dollars, they're putting out banded signs, or they're doing like direct mail campaigns because they're trying to um, communicate with motivated um, 
sellers, right? And then there's other strategies as well, whether you're marketing online, you're doing pay-per-click, or you're doing social media advertising, or you're joining groups and you're trying to find sellers that way, and you're doing flyers, door hangers, I mean, whatever it is that rocks your boat, right? I don't do any of those things. I just don't, you know, I used to, I used to, and you know, I'm not opposed to it. I'm just saying with the tax deed strategy, and tax lien strategy, you really don't have to do any of those things because um, the leads are provided for you and you already know that these are motivated individuals because they're having some kind of financial distress at the moment because it's not really normal to not pay your real estate taxes, right? Most people pay their real estate taxes because it comes every year, it's a requirement. Anyway. That concludes our Tax Deed Tuesday as I uh, pull up, I'm getting ready, just like two seconds, to pull up to the first property and I'm just really excited. Stay safe, you guys. Wash your hands, take your hand sanitizer. You know I got my kit in the trunk, so you know me. <laughs> Staying safe all the time. So make sure you guys stay safe, all right? I love you all and um, have a wonderful, wonderful week, all right? Be blessed, bye.